the first video that they posted was three years ago as an environmental first look. One of the first things that I noticed about it is, let me stop this here, is one is on Unreal Engine uh, 4. So it looks great. Um, depending on optimization, it's gonna run great then. Um, there's a few things on here, like depth of environment looks great. Lighting looks great. Um, like a lot of the atmospheric detail looks great. Um, like that right there, lighting, bokeh effect, all that good stuff. Obviously, again, this is three, four year old footage now. So from an environment standpoint, it looks great. And one thing about MMOs anymore, they, they get landscape. I don't think there's too many MMOs out there or games for that matter. If if landscapes are a part of their game and part of their design, they get it right. There's not a whole lot of landscapes that look bad. You might not like their art style in particular, but that's different than graphics, in my opinion. Uh, graphics is optimization, assets that they, assets that they use. Um, when you get down to art style, that's, I think that's a little bit different. Um, now, you guys might also remember, too, uh, maybe, oh, was it last year? We played some of the Battle Royale that they used for testing their combat systems. And so, while I will say that part was, was pretty clunky, um, they said they learned a lot of information from it, and that's where they're retooling stuff now. Something that I found very, very interesting through this process is... Um, Steven Sharif is very, very passionate about his project. Uh, and he knows like microscopic details about his game. And I really, truly appreciate that uh, from someone who is, you know, their, their visionary, their creative director. So um, this is something that the game is promising a lot. There's a lot of systems. There's a lot of depth. There's a lot of, a lot of possibilities. Um, and even from server to server, there's going to be different experiences because the world is going to react to the players. And I know that can be worrisome to a lot of people because it, without persistence, there's fear of missing out. Like, well, on that server over there, they've got this thing going on. That seems really sweet. But on this server, we got this thing on. And this is a pain in the butt. So, like, there are things that we really need to see how they pan out because they really haven't been done before. Uh, you might have world events on other games that may end in a different way or a different scenario. But it's not that the world itself is going to evolve based on what the players do so again older video this is a couple years old and we'll get up to the new stuff and i just i really do like how the world looks and i feel like in the long term we've only seen a fraction of what is going to be out there it's all good dude all good my dude so and 
they're so receptive to feedback that I think as more players get into alphas and betas, this is really going to evolve into one of the best MMOs that we've ever had. And that's a very tall order because there's been so many and different ones mean different things to different people for different reasons. Wes is so excited. I'm excited that Wes is excited. Good. Asheron's Call for the win. Never played Asheron's Call. My first MMO was Letro. But again, if you guys are going to play this game, make sure you type in exclamation point ashes in the chat. Use that referral code to uh, set up your account. There you go. Thank you, Bill. Like, Unreal Engine just does so much good stuff with light. Really just nails the... And I know, like, some of the earlier stuff was, like, some... Uh, a little bit more generic... Uh, stuff that was available in the Unreal Engine. And as you progress on through, you'll see more and more stuff. And like, this is stuff I watched years ago, and it's actually just, it's actually really cool watching it again. Here, this stuff is pretty cool. Um, a little bit more of the development side. This one's a little bit newer. New logo, much better. Uh, Heathen, is it fair to say everything? Like this is, watching them actually craft the detail in this stuff is amazing. Uh, I don't know, dude. Maybe. Maybe so, bud. Kind of looks that way, doesn't it? And like, the model in-game, or in the engine, is exactly what it looked like. Now the animation. This is so cool. Just the fact that they're this open about development is amazing. Oh, hey, like I said, if you're going to sign up, use a referral, exclamation point ashes. You can mount the otters. There they go. I dig it. I dig it a lot. Oh, this one was really cool. This was the uh, another one of the, oops, one of the uh, animal creations. It's insane how much detail they put into their their models. Like their artists are so good.
It's like the little details on the buckle they're even putting in there. Oh my gosh, animators are crazy. It's, it's so wild to watch this stuff. Gosh, they're animating so much. Oh, that's another mount. <laughs> what that tongue do though? <laughs> All right, let's see it in the engine. All right, calm down, Dr. Evil. See it. I, I really want to know how big this world is going to be. Like, I've not seen anything that shows, like, wh how big a map would be or anything like that. Great. Yeah, um, I think the, just everything from the design perspective looks amazing. Here's the bear. Here's the bear. Yeah, that's fine. You know, the thing about it, though, is a lot of their monetization is going to come from the store. So I would expect some really cool ones to come later as well. You know, like their artists are killer. So I would imagine there'd be a lot more. Yeah, I mean, I don't doubt there'll be good ones. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is from their YouTube, just checking it out. And then uh, I'm going to hit up like some of their newer stuff from the uh, like the AMA and stuff like that. And then we'll talk about some stuff. So we can just do it like do it like that. God, that's gonna be such a pain in the butt to, to do the artwork for all that fur. Train, is this one you were talking about?
but also we're going to be doing stuff with uh 303 esports on this game as well so uh if it is something that you guys want to get into like i said make sure you use the code to set up your accounts uh and then we'll uh we'll keep you in the loop get in the discord uh and stay in the loop Oh, good bear. What a game this will be indeed. Like, I have not been this excited for a game in a very long time. There you go, train. Yeah, there's your actual in-game footage right there. Oh, it looks so good. Yeah, I'm sorry, you guys are getting the double compression. You're getting YouTube and this. Uh, do we know what five classes will be used for A1? N I don't know. Um, I haven't gotten into a lot of that specific detail. Let's look at the, the scale runner. Uh, they've talked about the, um, the combat and how that is not in a finished state. So they're aware of that and they're going to be refining and polishing the combat as it goes. Because a lot of that was supposed to come from Apocalypse, but what Apocalypse ended up telling them is that they needed to do more server and infrastructure work. So I think you got that pushed down the line a little bit. There were they were working on that. And then you're getting into more of the combat. What's up, Tolkien Ataku? How are you? Oh my gosh, I couldn't imagine actually drawing out all the scales on that. Like I know that they're doing like segments right there, but even so, animators and artists do not get enough credit. Uh, Taylor, did you play Apocalypse at all? We played it for a little while. Oh, it's gonna be an artistic mount. You didn't get to play it? It was interesting. And you could tell it was an alpha combat set. Um, yeah. There's supposed to be more, I think, that does stuff with the... Um, that does some stuff with the siege, the castle siege system. I don't know if they're going to still do that or not. Um, I know that got pushed back. Oh, he getting into the music. Such good animations. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it has to do with uh, what package you pre order. Um, so, like, I got one of the higher ones, so it's, um, uh, so I'll be an Alpha 2. 
pretty trolly, <laughs> right? <laughs> I can dig that. Ah, right, let's check this out. I'll just do full screen here. This is bird. The Dune Wing Falcon. You're disappointed by every other MMO you've tried since Lodro. Yeah. Uh, I've, I don't know. I, I'm right there with you. Yeah, there, there's a lot and the more information that we get and how open they are and transparent with their development and being receptive to feedback and whatnot, it's all good stuff. Um, like, I, I definitely think it's worth an investment into it. The way I look at it too with the Voyager packs, it's like you're getting a, a good chunk of that is game time too. So like... Yeah, it's an upfront investment. It's a big chunk of money, but honestly, I regret doing that, not doing that with Lotro, so. You hated Korean MMOs? Well, good thing this one's not a Korean one then for you then. Uh, nine months. Um, it's in the, the current round, so like a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I'm in the one right now, I think. I haven't looked to see what the current package is. And then the fade and then the in-game. Oh, the armor looks so dope. I like the four wings, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the lizard mount is pretty dope. I'm a big fan of the bear. Uh, I haven't seen a release date for the alphas yet. I think they're rolling into alpha one right now though, so. I agree. There just really hasn't been much to get excited before. And honestly, if they can deliver even on half of what they're promising, I think it stands to be a very, very solid uh, MMO. Well, it just depends. I think a lot of it, um, I think a lot of it depends on, um, how the alphas and betas go, how much needs to be changed, what the development cycle looks like. Um, cause it's not a matter of investment at this point. Um, that's something that's been made very clear is that Steven's funded the whole project. And so when you look at it that way, it's hire who you need to do the job you need to, but they're very, very particular. Uh, Grifter Gaming, thank you for the follow, bud. Welcome to the channel. Um, he's made it very clear that you have to listen to your player base. And that's important. And I think there's a couple comments that he makes in his interview that the AMA specifically, um, about listening to the community because they're the ones that are paying for it. And number two is um, how a lot of game studios, specifically MMO ones, are a little bit more greedy uh, when it comes to the payment models. And that's why he's very specific in talking about there's not going to be a box cost. It's going to be a, a subscription cost. Um, and then 
you have the cash shop, which is no pay to win. To my knowledge, it is a full sub based MMO. Um, yeah, full sub, no box price. I dig that. If you're going to have a game that is a um, video game as a service, which is what a live game is, um, you pay a subscription cost. If you're going to have a game that is not a service, like something that is single player or maybe has limited replay value or maybe is just a co-op and stuff like that that has a box cost um so having to pay for the the original game and then the subscription and then the expansions and then you have the cash shop that has pay to win stuff it's just like they're really trying to nickel dime everything out of you and Steven made it very clear that that's not what they want to do with this game is they want it to be subscription only uh, no box cost and their cash shop will be vanity and we've seen how well games do that are that way uh, and the prime example the easiest explanation and easiest example to give oh is Fortnite Fortnite is a free game that has made billions at this point and largely due to the amount of creativity with their skins their vehicle skins, their gun skins, their the characters and uh, emotes and all kinds of stuff. There's just so much and people want it. Uh, <laughs> we are a very vain species. We like to look good. <laughs> so <laughs> um, it, it's very easy to monetize in that way. So I think that's a really good way to do it um, because you can get the pieces that you want. You pay for the service. You know, you're paying for access to the servers, essentially. And you pay for the pieces you want at that point, which is vanity. You pay to look the way you want to. McTrain, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel. How are you doing? Um, Never liked subs, but it depends on how good the game is. Uh, I can, I can, I can feel that for sure. Yeah, I agree with that, Taylor. Uh, it's not like I play it uh, every now and then. I've been playing the last couple days just because uh, one of my buddies has been playing and I don't get to play games with him that often. And it's just hilarious because I was looking through their shop and I was like, man, these skins and guns and all this emotes and stuff. It's awesome. Like they did such a good job with it. Pretty good. Just looking forward to Ashes. Me too, man. Me too. Um... I think it's going to be a good one. Uh, I like what I'm seeing.